Rafi's a, a friend's uh, mother, and we invited them to our wedding. And then, uh, lo and behold, a year later, I was working for her. So, wow. hey, maybe it, maybe it, maybe it happened for a reason. Right? I, I just want to think. I mean, me personally, dude, I can't do that kind of thing. I mean, I couldn't fire somebody, meaning, like, if I was invited to a wedding, it would be so hard for me to fire them the next day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, see, see with, with the wedding I was telling you about the, that I had, her folks couldn't afford it. We were actually paying right. for this. Right. And there was a fear that we wouldn't be able to recoup that money. But see, up in Canada and up north in general, there's a notion that instead of buying you gifts off a registry... Cash. They, they give you cash. They Italians pay, do that all yeah, the time. They, well, they pay per plate, right? So well, they, get, they give an envelope. We you did come s- up, you give the envelope, you shake the hand. They call like, it the bombonier. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. we did so well that not only did it pay for the wedding... It also paid for the honeymoon. Nice. Nice. So, and yeah. the abortion. We didn't. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, wow. just kidding. Dude. Wow. But while we're talking about money, a stewardess in the news from a Middle Eastern airline where after being busted having coitus with one of the passengers, it was revealed that she's been doing this for years. And over a span of two years, they said that she made over a million dollars. Oh, she bringing a, people into the mile. She was high a hooker. Uh, she was a stewardess slash hooker. Yes. So like then now, now here's my only problem with this because I know now when I fly they won't take cash. Does she bring that little credit card machine with her in the bathroom when you? She brought the square. Oh, I'm just saying they don't <laughs> let you pay cash anymore. You can't even buy a beer. They they're like no debit or credit card only. And I'm like, well, I brought all the cash for this. I didn't know you guys changed the rules, <laughs> man. But I do have a credit card. But I mean, really, does this sound remotely believable, though? A million dollars over two years? You think this is possible? Yeah, absolutely. To bring people in the Mile High Club? And, I mean, and, what, what airline? And, and is how it? much was she tipping the, the, the coworkers to look the other way? Because an airline 20%. Is, is awfully intimate. You know what I mean? When you're on an airplane, uh, there, there's, it's kind of hard to pull something off without people noticing. There, it isn't if, if you're like, okay, if she would have leaned over and said, listen, she's a first class, I'm thinking, first of all, she wouldn't have been, you're not doing this in coach. No. You're not making a mil plus in coach. So what she would do in first class is she would lean over and she'd probably be like, pretend like you're sick for a minute. I'm going to escort you to the bathroom. And then she would escort him to the bathroom and then she'd be like, I need to check on this person. She would go in there like, okay, give me, give us a couple minutes. They're really sick. I'm going to help them clean up in here. Boom. Banging, banging, banging. So how much did you pay her? How much would I pay her? How much did you pay her? Uh, well, it was, it, it was, <laughs> once again, they didn't take credit cards at the time, <laughs> so it was what I had in my wallet, and it was about a thousand. But you know what? It was a thousand in EBT, right? Yeah, it, that's how I roll. <laughs> you know, the weird thing is, we j- we joke about the Mile High Club, but have you been in an uh, a airline bathroom lately? No, I never go. No, because you can't freaking fit, dude. I flew <laughs> all the way to California just recently, and I didn't piss once because I hate going in the bathroom. It's horrible. I don't want everyone to get up. Now, granted, I flew first class, which was well, nice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to get up either. Yeah, you like, know what I learned up. recently about the airline bathrooms? Yeah. I know this is going to be hard for you to believe, but I like to be drunk when I get on the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> and pills sometimes. You know you can take your own airplane bottles on. I know that. No, you can. You really? Yeah, you yes. can. Yeah, They're up small to, enough to, to get through amount. security. Yeah. yeah, you can take your own liquor bottles on. Like how many? Like 20? Tw- I don't know. I will ask Jimmy and Lauren. They they went when they went last time. They went. I think it went to Costa Rica or something. They but, took but, but or you know, Vegas. They took a handful really? of bottles with them. But you know what I learned? The right. stewardess told me this. What's that? Even though you know you wait for the sign. Hold on. The stewardess told you. Yeah. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And and it I was need a thousand dollars, please. And it was quite insightful. <laughs> okay. I mean, it was a mouthful. <laughs> but for you, <laughs> it was a tranny. For anyway, <laughs> um, but but what I learned. <laughs> Was that <laughs> was his name Cam? Maybe, <laughs> but what I learned was that uh, the sign that says you know when they finally display the sign that allows you to go to the bathroom, uh, you uh, don't actually have to follow that. By no, way. you don't when, at all. When you have to go, you just go. Yeah, and there's nothing that they can do about it. She no. told me that flat out. She's like, look, you don't technically have to wait because she could tell I was doing the pee pee dance, right? Because I've been drinking, right? When, they, when the seatbelts are on or whatever, oh, yeah. you yeah. don't have to wait. My sister, w- they we flew to. Uh, California a couple of years ago and she was she was in bad shape she had to go bad she was at the point where they told her you know the lady kept telling her the right captain has all they can say is the captain has not turned off the fa- the uh, fasten your seatbelt exactly like, she was about to cry oh it's and, painful and and, and, the, and the flight attendant leaned down and said listen Just I'm not it. allowed to tell you no all I'm allowed to say is that the captain has not turned off the sign right, but I am right, not right. allowed to stop you 
All I'm allowed to tell you is the captain has not turned off the sign. And uh, you my, see with old people got all the, the time. She finally got the hint, and she went, and nobody said a word to her. No, nah, I mean, listen, if you really got to pee, it's one thing. I think what they're trying to discourage is just drunk assholes on the plane being or like... Or just people walking around in right, general. Like, I mean, dude, planes are, are very sticky places, man. I mean, you're very close. If you're if you're not in well, first class... Well, in a Saudi airline, quite literally. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, literally in the bathroom, you might like actually stick to the wall. You're like, what happened in here? It's crazy. But you know what, dude? Flying's a bitch. Anything that makes it better. But you know what? I don't know, man. Um, I I tend not to like to pee there. I don't either. I don't you kind of have to a- hold yourself up and stand. Like, I- even though you're not moving that much, you don't feel it. You kind of, when you start to pee, you feel like you're kind of like just. Actually, know, for, just actually for me, it's the weirdest thing because I'm not really one of the most. In, it's, it's really hard to shame me. But for some reason, I, when I get up and I can, I can just, everybody's looking at, he's going to Take a deuce. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, no matter you what you do. You might as well come in and announce and be like, I'm going to go crap on the airplane. You know. Yeah, I, you think everybody knows exactly what you... Nobody does. Yeah, and they nobody don't care. Cares. And they don't even care. But no, that's, if a, you're, if you're in that's there, my own ego probably. If you're on. in there a while, they know. Yeah. Well, and, and, yeah, have you ever, you ever taken an international flight on like a 747? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah. I, when I flew to China, it was just... It was a 12-hour flight. We oh, were, you got to crap sometime, right? Well, no, we I didn't, but you just get up and walk around. Like, they don't care. Like, it's not uncommon to see people just standing around something. you got to get up and yeah, move. Yeah, international flights, they typically, because the plane is bigger, they have, like, that middle area right, where you can kind right. of congregate and yeah. walk around. Yeah, people and just you hang out. You have to. you got to get up. You well, get, it makes sense. It's like they, they, well, they have windows you can look out, too. It's like they, they want you to, or they know you're going to stand up and move, so they just set a little section aside where you can go stand up look well, out shit, the window. Well, shit, if the plane's going down... Come on, man. Be, is being in your seat really going to help too much, dude? You know no. what I mean? It's like, no. hey, I, I want to be flying through the plane like, woo! <laughs> right. So, so grabbing some titties on the way by. You know what I'm saying, dude? Yeah. So, speaking of grabbing titties and going down, okay. ten, Tinder in the news. Ooh. Tinder in the news again. Once again. Tinder, the dating website that is apparently renowned for the hookup. I mean, you've got all these different dating sites, but Tinder is the one that comes to mind when you're yeah. just looking for a hookup. It's It's... You've got different ones. Some are more known for trying to meet the right person. Where I mean, Threender is the best. <laughs> What's that? Threender? Is that three people? Yeah, it's for couples looking for a, a third person. Oh I didn't God. even know that existed. The world's yep. getting crazier every day. But, but, I mean, I didn't either. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> but but Tinder in the news again. Until right now. This is the site that's really known for just the casual hookup. And there is a campaign in L.A., where they're campaigning against sites like this, there's a large pink and purple billboard that encapsulates much of what these critics don't like about this dating app. It's two pairs of people that are silhouetted silhouetted against a bright background. Their foreheads are kind of nodded towards each other, and it says flat out on there, Tinder user, meet chlamydia. Then it says on Grinder, watch out for gonorrhea. And while you're at it, get a free STD check. That's what this whole thing's about, is testing so how for many, STD. So how many times have you got an STD off Tinder? I'm asking you, Ben. Um, I, what I, you know, what I do, Caleb, is I like to let it build up. So I lose count because I figure if you're, you know, really getting a benefit out of it, let it build up. Because, look, you just get that big penicillin pill and it cures it all. So why waste it? You know, you don't want to take penicillin too much. It affects your immune system. So just build up. That's the why they call it tinder, because your genitals will be burning at some point afterwards. Because <laughs> they're nice and tender? No, it's, it's tinder like when you put on a fire. Oh. It's... Oh, my God. Somebody... <laughs> it let... burns like a, like a coal tinder. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm using your nuts as tinder right now. Oh. It's, it's very good. They burn fine. Oh. With that frog hair. Ben, did you say earlier that you had a frog down your throat? I did, yeah. <laughs> Were you speaking of a Frenchman? <laughs> Mike's not here. Mickey's not here. I did live in Quebec at one point. I'm sorry so. to bring that back. Bless it you. Just, it just was sticking in my mind for a while. I was a little concerned. <laughs> he, he likes frogs in his throat. <laughs> you know what? I don't even know where to go with that. And, I, and on that note, we are at the end of another show. We are. Oh, my God. A late show at that, but well worth it because we were graced by the presence of FPI. I love, those, female, I love those girls. They're great. Absolutely. The what female cool paranormal investigators go to ghostversusgadgets.com. Great website. They detail the different places that they've investigated. They've got some cool video on there. they got some interesting photos as well of the group. They tell you all about them. A family nice. endeavor. And they, they couldn't have been more gracious with their interview, we look forward to talking to them further down the road. 
Next week, another show, 7 to 9, maybe, maybe later, <laughs> on a Friday. Maybe 7.30 to 10. Maybe. Who knows, man? We, we're flexible. So, so well, the show's over, guys. I don't know if we're flexible, but... Uh, I'm flexible. I can do splits. Hey, oh, that's right. You can. can. The show's yeah. over, guys. What did you learn? What did I learn today? I learned that there is actually, and I'm going to be a little serious about this, not joke out. Well, I'm going to be unserious for a second. I learned that Larry King is probably a person, not a ghost. <laughs> Number two, I learned that you can actually be attacked by a being or something, and act physical. I didn't know that. Affects God. Right. I, I really never believed that. I always thought that was like kind of a weird thing, but yeah. they said it's true. And I also learned that. Pretty much everybody that works here looks really hot. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you, um, took, you took mine. Yeah. That's oh, what oh, I'm sorry. As, as Brian Lyon just walked by, you said that. He's pretty hot, too. Well, he should. Well, he ain't a bad looking dude. I got to be wow. honest, man. I mean, you know what? It, it's, a, it's, beard. I'm not in it's the beard. So, yeah. so, what did you learn, Caleb? Um, I learned that uh, Brian has a nice beard, apparently. Uh, we talked about that. Um, there's a I, dragon. No. I, I learned that, uh, that uh, there's a new person that works here, Leah. I had not met her before. Um, I learned that the uh, the ladies from uh, FBI are really cool, and I can't wait to uh, have a uh, experience here with them. So that's uh, that's what I got. What about you? Oh, oh that's gonna be exciting. Um, I learned that you're apparently perusing swingers dating sites. <laughs> no, I heard about it on the on an, on another radio show. You, you heard about it? Yeah, heard okay. about it. We'll go with that. Yeah. Um, I <laughs> I also learned that I got a funny story I got to tell you what when the when the mics I, are off. I by also the way. learned that we get to take part in this ghost. It's going to be badass. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm like freaked out but excited at the same no, time. Super not be cool like, I'm like a little kid right now. I'm like I mean first of all they're serious about this, right? Yeah. So how could we not be excited? Oh, Absolutely. This is, is going to be awesome. So all you craniacs, we hope you enjoyed yourself. We hope you had a good time listening to the show. We appreciate your support as always. Go to craniomissions.com. Let us know what's going on. You can email us there. You can let us know where you're listening from. Facebook.com slash The Craniomissions Network. Like the page there. Follow us on Twitter. Like, actually, FBI just recently did at Cranial E. They did it after the interview. We appreciate that. Check us out on iTunes, too. Exactly. I actually found it the other day. It's a, it's a little easier to listen to on iTunes than it is Spreaker, I guess. Hey, hey, can I say there. one thing? Next week, we're going to have my band's bumper music on. So yes, we will. Yeah. Please yeah. tune in next week. We're going to play a little of the... Uh, some of the old sons of working class, some of the new international criminal gang of bastards. Sounds so good. Be a part of that. For the Crane Mission Show, Ben Charles, the C Square, Caleb Crispy, the Reverend Joey T, here before you. We look forward to talking to you next week. We're out. What's the tagline? You didn't say the tagline. Oh, question everything, consider anything. We thank you for listening to the Cranial Mission Show. Make sure you visit our Facebook page, the Cranial Emissions Network, our Twitter page, at Cranial E, and tune in every Friday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Spreaker.com.